Happy Father's Day, guys. You know, uh, it's your day. Enjoy it. Have fun. I hope somebody takes you hunting or fishing this time of the year. Probably ought to be fishing because if you're hunting, might not be any season open where you are. <laughs> you know, Father's Day is is a special day and, and it's a day I enjoy a lot, but it's also a day that is a little bit bittersweet for me because especially the church service on Sunday morning when uh, they start talk, talk, talking about Father's Day because uh, Father's Day I always start thinking about about my dad, my father. And uh, I lost my dad January 18, 1990. And, uh, and I think about him every day. And I know that's been almost 30 years ago now. Uh, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but it's been almost 30 years ago. And, and uh, my dad carried me hunting and fishing as soon as I was old enough to walk. Uh, he taught me how to, how to hunt, how to fish. And uh, I was able, a little bit later when we started the television show, to carry him to places that he would have never ever got a chance to go to, places like Lake Champlain. Uh, Cuba, Mexico, some of the places that he probably would never have got to fish. So that was a really special deal. But, uh, but uh, you know, when you lose your dad, Father's Day comes along. It's that one time of the year where you can't see to get out of your mind all of those great <laughs> memories that you had. And uh, my dad was a special man. Uh, he. Uh, I can remember the day that he totally changed my life. We were sitting at the breakfast table one Sunday morning before church, and he was reading the Sunday paper, and uh, he saw in the one ads, he said, you know, looky here, uh, the Cooks and Hills cabins and store are for sale. Why don't we go down there and buy that? Well, that was a resort on Lake Tenkiller that was our favorite lake, place that we went to and spent summer vacation, occasionally got to go there on weekends. But it was our favorite lake, and I, my eye perked up and I thought, Wow, well, that, could that be possible that I would get to move to the Lake Ten Killer and get to live and grow up on a lake? And I was 15 years old, 16 years old, still in high school. And my mom said, "Well, that would be great, wouldn't it?" Well, by golly, the next weekend, my mom and dad went to Lake Ten Killer, and they bought Cooks and Hills Resort, and uh, and we got to move to the lake. And obviously, that totally changed my life forever. And it was the most monumental thing that ever happened to me. Uh, it came close to not happening because my, my dad wasn't a, a, a really highly educated man. He didn't have he didn't have a college education. He didn't even have a high school education. I was the first kid in the whole family, aunts and uncles and cousins and everything that ever got to go to college. Uh, my dad didn't even have a high school education. He dropped out of school in the seventh grade to go to work and and help make a living, you know, for his family to help put food on the table for. For his mom and dad and his brothers and sisters and um, uh, so he had almost no education at all when the uh, war started he joined the air force and 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 fought in the war and after the war he became a taxi cab driver in oklahoma city a taxi cab driver now the one thing about being a taxi cab driver is that if you worked really hard if you're willing to work 12 14 16 hours a day you can make quite a bit of money and that's what my dad was willing to do he later became a a cookie salesman uh, for L.D. Jones Food Company, a big wholesale food distributing company. And my dad ran a cookie truck and he sold cookies and pickles and crackers and all kinds of uh, groceries to these stores all around the Oklahoma City area. And, uh, and I would spend a lot of my summers when I was a kid riding on that cookie truck. And, uh, and I remember, and I know my legs were short, but it seemed like dad would almost run from the truck to the stores and, and, and he, I would uh, like, you know, run behind him behind a two-wheeler with these stacks of cookies, and then he would let me ride on the two-wheeler back to the truck. And I spent a lot of my summers riding that cookie truck, but my dad worked his way up in that company. And uh, when he got to the point that he was gonna buy that resort on Lake Tenkiller, he was general manager of L.D. Jones Food Company. Now, the general manager ran that company. L.D. had some sort of an illness, and he was bedridden, and so dad ran the company. Today, we would call him the CEO and uh, we weren't rich I don't know how much money my, my mom and dad made but we were you know I thought middle-class people we might have been on the edge of upper middle class I don't know but uh, but I remember that after dad had, had made the deal down there to buy that resort 
one evening he told mom, he said, well, I told LD I was quitting and he offered me this gigantic pay raise. And I don't remember the numbers, but my mom said, oh my gosh, she said, we need to take that raise. And dad said, well, I turned it down. And, uh, and he said, LD got really upset and LD told him, he said, you go home, talk to your wife, you tell me how much money you have to have to stay here and run this company. Your ticket and that's what you're gonna get. It scared me to death because as a kid, I wasn't really caring about all that kind of money. I was just thinking, we're not going to get to move to Lake Ted Killer. And, uh, and Dad uh, and Mom said, well, what are we going to tell him? And he said, well, we're going to tell him the same thing I told him. <laughs> we're moving to Ted Killer. That totally changed my life. But let me tell you, as you get older, doesn't matter who you are, you'll turn into your dad. Well, let me tell you guys, you young dads out there, your responsibility for raising your kids is so great, you can't even fathom how great it is. If you teach them to lie and cheat, they're going to lie and cheat. If you teach them to call in sick from work when you're not sick, they're going to call in sick from work. If you're ugly to your wife, and they're going to be ugly to their wife. Not only that, your daughter's probably going to grow up and marry a man that's her. So your responsibility is awesome. If you teach them to be good, honest people, they're going to grow up and be good, honest people. Teach them to hunt and fish, they're going to grow up and hunt and fish. You teach them to love and respect their wife, they're going to love and respect theirs. Not only that, your daughter, a man just like you. So dads, have a great Father's Day. But remember, the greatest responsibility in the world is being a father. The greatest reward in the world, being a father. See you later, guys. Have a great day.